Hello and welcome to Padel Pro Shop videos from YouTube. Today we are going to analyze the new Knox 8010 for this 2022. Let's go and check how this new racket works. So let's start analyzing the new Agustin Tapia rackets for this new season. Let's start analyzing this racket. It's uh, AT Tapia Genius 2022. It's the same as 2021, uh, the one that we have seen him playing, the green one. Um, just the colors and the new thing that we are going to keep analyzing is that the straps are not exactly the same. I mean, it's the same one, but what we can do is to remove it and place another strap that is coming. That is the typical strap that we use and then we turn it a bit. So in general, this is the top six racket from Knox last year. And we think that it's going to be amazing with the raw surface and all that. Let's continue with the next racket. So let's just analyze the new racket. This one is still um, a tear shape. But uh, as we can feel, the biggest difference is that this 18K, when we hit the ball, there is much more power on it. And we've been seeing that Tapia is gonna play with both of them. And in general, looks very similar. We change a bit the composition, but it seems we're gonna test it in the court. I think it's a part of an amazing design. The same, raw surface, we can change the strap like in all the rackets the vibration things that they put knocks here, the same bridge. In general, it looks like very similar, but for people who want a bit more of a heating uh, help in the shots. I think it's, personally, I love the design, and I think it's gonna be super top sales for this season, as Tapia is gonna be playing with both of the rackets. Here we are missing a fourth racket. Um, probably you've seen the black one. Uh, this year, they're gonna change a bit. It's gonna be inside the black Eva, as you can remember, the black one was coming with white Deva, and it's gonna be a bit harder. It's gonna be called Agustin Tapia Harder. And let's talk about the last one, last one. So there should be a fourth one, but the sample was not good enough, so we cannot have it for this test. But we have uh, this uh, 8010 attack. So what they're doing is keeping Tapia's um, concept that everyone loves nowadays. They've done a, an attack racket. And it's a it's a 18k carbon. In general, I think it's gonna be super good for smashing. I love the design, like super, yeah, more for Sweden, like a black, white, a bit of silver. And I think I have to test it, but the same. We can change the strap. We have the side things that all the tapias, the same bridge. But as we can see, the sweet point is more on top. So I think uh, for those kind of players that love Tapia and love all the movement with uh, that player and wants to smash with uh, strong points, I think it's going to be an amazing. So let's go and try them in the court and let's see how they develop all of them. I think uh, super good from Knox for this season. After trying out the Tapia new collection, I have a very good feeling. Mainly, I love the design. Um, from itself, I like the two Tapias, the most rounded rackets, but in the end, for me as an aggressive player, I love this new AT10 uh, with um, the Scolite Attack with 18K. So it's a bit softer, the carbon than the 12, but in general, you have much better powerful shots on the air, and it's good for the volley still with a very good control. 